Welcome to Easy Higher Mathematics. So, Gauss Siddle method. So, this is an iterative method. What is iterative method? From the first step, we get some value. That values we can substitute in the second step. So, that is called iterative method. So, Gauss Siddle method. First, you have to rearrange these equations in such a way that for finding value of x, you have to take the equation which has maximum x coefficient. In this equation, the first equation, the coefficient of x is 2 and coefficient of x here second equation 3x that is equal to 3. Then the last one 20x. So this has the maximum x coefficient. So you have to take the first equation as this 20x plus y minus 2 is it is equal to 70. Now for y you take the maximum y coefficient equation. So that is uh, here y th minus 3, here y 20, here y 1. So this is the maximum coefficient equation. So, you take the second equation as 3x plus 20y minus is it is equal to minus 18. Then the third one, here is it coefficient is equal to minus 2, here minus 1. You cannot take the same equation. So, the remaining on this one, so that is 2x minus 3y plus 20 is that the coefficient of is it is maximum for this equation only. So, we take the third equation, 2x minus 3y plus 20 is it equal to 25. So that is the first step. Now, from the first equation, rearrange the first equation, you find the value of x. So that is x is equal to, you take this 20 x is equal to what? 17 minus y plus 2 is it. So in such a way that 20 x is equal to minus y plus 2 is it plus 17. So, then x is equal to 1 by 20 minus y plus 2 is at plus 17. So, in this same manner, we can find the value of y from this second equation and z from this third equation. So, this is the second step that is x is equal to y equal to z equal to. Now, from this only, we will start this iteration method. That is, iteration, first iteration, we need x0 and y0, z0. So, in this model, that is, for gauss Siddle method, you need y0 and z0 only. You need y0 and z0 only. What is y0, what is z0? In the initial stage, we take y0 is equal to 0 and z0 is equal to 0. So, we can substitute these values y0 and z0 that is we taken as the not in the suffix. So, you take here 0. So, that is y0 is equal to 0, z0 is equal to 0. So, this equation becomes what is the first equation? First equation in this equation instead of y or replace this y by y0 and z by z0. So, what is our equation? The equation becomes 1 by 20 into 17 minus y0 plus 2z0. From this equation, by substituting this value that is equal to y0 is equal to 0 and z0, we can get the value of x. That x is taken as x1. So, this is x1. So, what is y? y is this equation 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3x plus z here x we will not apply x naught because already we got the value of x from the first step so here we use x1 but we didn't have the value of z so there, there we use z naught so here y naught and z naught are first we apply here we use the x1 value and is it not? So from these two equations we can get x1, y1. 
in this equation we substitute not x dot y not x1 and y1 so let us find the value of x1 and y1 so this is x1 substitute these values okay so what is x what is y0 y0 is we taken as 0 so here we can note this that is y0 is equal to 0 and z0 is equal to 0 this is for all problems we take y0 is equal to 0 and z0 is equal to 0 so here substitute we can get here y0 0, 0 here also 0 we can get 17 by 20 so your answer is 0 0.85 your answer is 0 0.85 now we can use this x1 in the second equation that is our equation is what minus 18 3x1 plus z0 so z0 is equal to 0 and x1 is equal to 0 0.85 that we can substitute in this equation so what is that equation 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3 into 0 0.85 then z0 is equal to 0 so your answer is simplifying you can get minus 1.0275 mostly you take at least five digit from five digit decimals so okay that is minus 1.0275 now the z1 what is z1 our formula z1 this one z1 25 minus 2x1 plus 3y1 so we have the x1 value and y2 value these two equations we can substitute in z so z is equal to what is z here z is equal to 1 by 20 25 minus x1 plus 3 y1 so substitute this x1 y1 value that is 0 0.85 and minus 1.275 in that equation in this equation we can get 25 minus 2 into 0 0.85 plus 3 into minus 1.0275 that value is equal to 1.0109 so first iteration we finished now let us take this second one so that is in this equation we use x2 is equal to 1 by 2 the same earlier formula steps only we replace this y by y1 z by z1 for the next case we get this value so replace x by this value only so that is 3x2 plus z1 so in this step we got x2 and y2 so we can substitute x2 here and y2 here so first step full y1 z1 second step we use x2 z1 third step we use fully second step that is x2 y2 so substitute these values that is equal to x2 values here x2 value is equal to that is x1 they have a previous step value minus 1.0275 plus then z1 value that is 1.0109 that is the previous steps values this only these these three values only this is x1 y1 z1 so this from this we can substitute so that is y2 is equal to that is y2 is equal to this value then z2 is equal to this value simplifying we can get 1.0025 0, 0, 0, minus 0 0.0998 then 0 0.9998 now what about the next one see similar way see this x3 is equal to now x3 is equal to 1 by 20 here y2 then z2 so that is for the second step that is 3 x3 and here z2 then third step we use this x3 and y3 so come continuing this way we can get x3 is equal to x2 x2 value is equal to we have here then y2 value is equal to minus 0 0.998 and 
here is set to value is equal to minus 0 0.998 we can substitute here answer is 1.00 now this equation we use previous step value that is equal to 1.00 and is set to from this 9, 0 0.998 so simplify we can get minus 1.00 and the set 3, we can use this x3 and x3 and y3. So, substituting these values 1.00 and minus 1.00, we can get 1.00. Now, the last step, that is step 5, this equation for finding x, we use this x3 and y3. This x3 and y3, that is 1.00 and minus 1.00. We can get answer 1.00. Then for y, we use this value and previous set value. That is equal to 1.00. Final answer is minus 1.00. The last one, we can use this x4 and y4. So that is 1, 1 by 20 into substituting the values, we can get 1.00. When can we stop this iteration? At least 4 digits are identical. Four decimal places are, places are identical, we can stop the iteration. So, here previous value is 1.00, then minus 1.00, 1.00. Here we get the same one that is 1.00, minus 1.00, 1.00. So, we can stop the iteration. So, our final answer is x is equal to 1.00, y equal to minus 1.00 z is equal to 1.00 this is our required answer so each step you follow this only first two values so in this equation only you replace x on y1 y, sorry y1 is at 1 then y2 is at 2 y3 is at 3 here x1 x2 sorry so in this equation only we use here y0 is at 0, y1 is at 1, y2, y2. Here x1 is at 0, x1 is at 2, x3 is at 4, etc, etc. So this is our required answer. So thanks for watching.